In this video, I find out how to connect your PlayStation 4 controller or your Stadia controller to your PC so you can play Steam games using a controller of one of these. That's right, guys. So, a PS4 controller, first of all, it's not without its issues, I'm not gonna lie. Probably the best way I would say is connecting your USB cable or your USB micro cable to your computer straight through that way and it will just pop up light up blue bada bing bada ba then what actually happens is steam pops up now if it doesn't i'm going to close this because it might not so what you need to do is you need to go to big picture mode while it loads fantastic things happen we go to settings you go to controller settings and you see this long list of stuff here you see what shows up here playstation 4 controller however that might not show up what you do need to do is tick through all of these so it connects not a problem now i found this is the best way to start it off you can do it straight through bluetooth but blinking heck bluetooth is a bit um, best experience probably wired if you can't that's fair enough we can sort that out too don't worry we need to activate discovery mode on your playstation 4 controller discovery mode can be activated by pressing your playstation little button and the share button at the same time simultaneously hold it in until we get a flashing blue light that has activated discovery mode then in your search bar on your computer you need to go to search for settings it'll pop up click on settings and then we we'll go to Bluetooth and other devices that is probably already the first thing that will show up anyway but let's just humor I'll, I'll you know humor me then we need to go to add Bluetooth and other devices then we need to search for our Bluetooth. And while it's still flashing, finally shows up wireless controller connecting and badam, done. We can see it connect. It's a blue light. We're good to go. Woo! That didn't take 1500 hours. Now, when you launch into your big display mode, you should be able to control it with your PlayStation controller just like i just did then easy easy as pie that's as easy as it is to connect your playstation 4 controller now how difficult is it to connect your stadia controller now you can't do it wirelessly as far as i'm aware it doesn't work you need to plug in the correct cable which is the one that you got with your stadia controller in the first place into the top of your USB C. Ding. and then fingers crossed it just shows up as a generic gamepad now if it doesn't show up as that you can then go into back into your main panel go to settings go to controller settings and click your generic gamepad configuration support and it will just show up and then you can control everything you want through your generic gamepad or stadia controller oh that wasn't stressful or difficult to do playstation well done so proud of you i wonder how quickly you can switch between it does connect oh god good luck guys how about if i just disconnect this Oh, that's switched that off. Oh, it can't have it can't have two controllers. It can't cope with two controllers. But it can, not like Stadia can. But it can. It works much better wired. I'm just throwing it out there. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you in the next one.